Hey, Tom Casey here today talking to you about your parts warranty on your system. When your new system was installed, it came with either a five-year or a 10-year parts warranty. Typically, that's based on whether it was uh, entry-level builder grade and whether or not it was registered online with the manufacturer. As a default, think five years. We can confirm everything with your serial number to determine whether or not a part is or isn't covered. If it wasn't registered, then the manufacturer goes by the date of manufacture, regardless of when it was installed. It's five years from the date of manufactured if it's not registered online with the manufacturer. Here's an important point. That parts warranty carries no additional warranty for things like labor, associated costs, associated supplies, other tasks that go with replacing that part. All the additional costs are the responsibility of you, the consumer. So even if you get the part for free, there may be additional costs which you're responsible for above and beyond. Now this is no matter which dealer installs the system. The manufacturer still provides a warranty to the actual dealers regardless of who the original installer is. Now, another important point is that typically the manufacturers will only work or honor warranties with licensed contractors. So a DIY person, a do-it-yourselfer can't go in and like get a warranty motor or can't go in and get a warranty compressor. They have to go through a licensed contractor. There's some reasons for that. Of course, safety to the consumer, uh, protection of the manufacturer to make sure things are done with the proper procedures and stuff like that. But also to make sure that the paperwork or the documentation of the warranty is done properly. You see, just because you say I have this make, model, and serial number and this part's under warranty doesn't mean they're going to grant the warranty. Oftentimes, we've got to submit a claim which includes filling out a whole bunch of paperwork, think insurance policy like health insurance, submitting a claim, requesting reimbursement. We have to either return or hold on to the old part for up to 60 days and wait for them to test the old part and verify that it had a problem. And unfortunately, if the old part didn't have a problem, the manufacturer could actually decline the claim, just like a medical claim. Say, no, that wasn't really a claim. We're not going to honor it. So that means that we have to pay in advance or pay up front for your parts, even if they're under warranty. That's right, not our doing, not our policy. We're just going with the flow with the manufacturer. So if you have a warranty motor, which very well you may have, we have to actually purchase that motor, pay in full COD, provide a credit card or a check for the part, go replace the part, fill out a bunch of paperwork, return the old part, and wait for a credit. That might mean you have to pay in advance too and then wait for reimbursement. Also, there's this middle piece that I talked about where if there's associated costs that aren't under warranty, refrigerant's a good example, welding, leak testing, air balancing, cleaning of anything, those are not warranty items. So if a motor went bad and the part itself is under warranty but you need to clean things or change things or tune things up as part of that, that is not under warranty any type of warranty, even if it's other parts and pieces potentially. So we'll always quote it up front, but I want you to recognize that warranties are provided by the manufacturer, not us as the dealer. Now, in addition to that, there's a ton of work behind the scenes. Just even getting the part ordered, getting the part picked up or delivered, filling out all this warranty claim paperwork, following up on it multiple times to make sure you get a credit back. It's something that doesn't occur all by itself. It's a very difficult process, takes a lot of time, so there are costs associated with that that we have to cover even when a part is under warranty and you're getting it for free from the manufacturer. Oftentimes, and our expert will always explain this to you, if it's a small part with a small cost, sometimes the cost of doing all these hurdles and all this paperwork and picking up and delivering and going back and forth and making return trips costs more than getting a brand new part with a brand new warranty, including the labor on the new part. So we'll give you those options. So is your house, your money, your decision. But warranty is a very ambiguous term when it comes to the manufacturers because it sounds fantastic. But in reality of executing it, us as your contractor, our hands are tied. We have very little flexibility on what we can do. We've got to follow all these rules. Again, think medical insurance, think insurance claim. Think of all the hurdles and all the things that come up when you're doing other types of insurances, well, this is the same thing. The manufacturer is potentially going to provide free parts 
So they have a real rigid protocol we have to go through, and it's not easy, and it's not without costs, and it's not without some angst and anxiety. We're here to guide you through it. We're here to do whatever you want to do. But we just want you to understand that the manufacturer's parts warranty doesn't carry any labor with it unless you specifically have a manufacturer's extended labor warranty. And even then, there's allowances for specific things, and the warranty process itself might be beyond what the allowance is. Again, think insurance policy, think deductible, think in-network versus out-of-network, think all those things that go with insurance. The same thing applies when it comes to warranty parts for your system. Boom.